Hello everybody, Floppy Hat Photos back here again for another Amazing Adventures of the Almighty Bruce. And today's adventure is going to be him getting his first bath um, with me, maybe first bath other, I don't know. I don't know the history on the dog, unfortunately. And instead of trying to get him in my stand-up shower, I don't have a tub. I thought I'd just go out here. We have a car wash that has an outside pet washing area. It's kind of a neat little setup there, as you can see. I just got the camera clamped on a fence post. And this is all going to be real time. I'm not speeding it up. I'm not going to think that. To kind of show you how well he did. Um, I kind of let him smell around a little bit. I tried to get him up in the tub a little bit too fast. I should have let him smell things a little more before I started trying to coax him up in there. But I realized here I'm just not going to force him. I'm not going to pick him up and chase him up in there. Nothing like that. Kind of let him do his own thing here. Kind of just... Let me fill out the little pinned area, which the fence is not very tall. So if he was to want to, he could jump that fence without much problem at all. Went ahead and coaxed him up in, not really forcing him, just kind of encouraging him in that. He got up in there great. Um, luckily, the eye ring they have at the front of this tub to um, tie your dog to, my leash actually fits through. So I was able to hook it right up in through there, hook him onto it. So he wouldn't be likely to jump off of there if he gets scared by the water. I did screw up here. I set it way too short. You see, I've got him pinned down, his head down below. I realized that was dumb. But luckily, before I got started, I was able to loosen it up. A little more slack out. Let him kind of stand up there a little more like a proud dog. Instead, his head down the whole time, feeling bad. Now I'm getting ready to put my money in. Um, it's a dollar per minute. Not really a big deal here. Not a problem. Has soap, conditioner, um, flea junk, all that kind of stuff built into the sprayer. What I'm going to also do, I think, next time I take him out there, I'm going to go ahead and take some of my own bath um, dog shampoo. I didn't really care for their soap too much, but I'm going to bring my own. Can I use it as a rinse cycle, um, pre-wash, and then wash him, then rinse him back off. This right here, I've just went ahead and just using their soap, kind of giving a good little scrub down on, you know, all over much as I can. And then in a minute, I'm going to go ahead and take that um, orange, uh, purplish blue brush you see there. It's actually his um, shedding brush. I usually well I'm going to help use that to help scrub the soap in. I didn't really get up near his head really good here today because I didn't I don't know this soap. I don't know if it's safe around his eyes and his ears and his mouth and that kind of deal. So I figured I'd go ahead and just kind of wash his body today. He kind of has a weird odor to him. I don't know if it's the food they're eating or what's going on, but I'm going to hopefully um, this will get rid of some of the weird odors he's got and we'll go from there. So Pretty much right now, it's, you know, he's doing good. You can see the dog is awesome. He's absolutely enjoying this. Well, enjoy may be a big word. He's tolerating this. My time ran out my first minute. Not a big deal there. I'm going to go ahead and use the soap that's on him and that brush to kind of finish scrubbing him down pretty good here. This is not the most thorough bath in the world. I don't want him up here a long time. I don't want him to get to where he's uncomfortable. I'm going to make this super quick, super short bath. Next time I go out, probably in a week or two, I'll go back out, give him another bath, and it'll be a little bit longer. The bath of that will be a little bit longer, and I'll work my way up. Because if his first experience goes bad, then every experience that's going to be a more of a pain in the butt to do. So my main thing here is I want to keep him happy. I want to keep him content, and I want to get this over with fairly shortly. Now I'm back here to the rinsing off stage. Not really a big deal. Kind of just, you know, feeling it out. Luckily, I kept feeling the water. It never got real hot. It never, you know, got cold. It was just a nice, lukewarm water. Worked out really, really well for me. I was concerned about it being too hot or too cold. It's a hot day today out there. Um, I'd say it's probably in the high 80s. So it's not unbearable hot, but it's definitely kind of going. You saw me throw some more money in there. I think I've got this a three-minute area, at least two minutes, I think it was, of the rinsing off him here. I wanted to make sure I got all the soap off. That's definitely very, very bad for your dog if you have leftover soap on him, you don't get it off, it's bad for their coat. So I'm spending a lot of time making sure I rinse him out really good, just because it's bad on their skin, like I said. This um, setup here also has a high pressure blow ear, like a hair dryer thing you can use for your dog. I did not use that. Uh, I didn't know how loud it was gonna be, didn't know how he's gonna take it. I may use it when the time comes down the road, when I end up having to, um, go ahead and do it again with the fact that when I um, set out to do it when it's a little cooler. I knew it was hot today and we are going to actually go for a run. So I was going to go ahead and kind of let this be his pre-run uh, bath, which would kind of keep him a little wet, help him stay cool. So that worked out really good for me. You just saw right there, I switched over to a conditioner, supposedly a skin conditioner in that. Don't know if it doesn't hang, don't know if it works well or not. Just figured I'm already paying the money, I might as well go ahead and switch over and kind of see what happens here. So I'm kind of just 
giving that last little bit of a rinse down with that conditioner, seeing if I can kind of make sure I get all the soap out, so mostly what I'm after. And a little leftover conditioner will never hurt anything either. So you can see me switching back over here now to just a plain rinse, and I ran out. So that right there is pretty much where I'm at. Um, the little bit of white you see on his chest here is actually conditioner, not soap. So I'm not worried about that being there. It won't hurt him any. Went ahead and unhooked him there from the leash. Now I'm going to walk him off the table. As you see, he goes right down it. There's plenty of grip. Didn't slide. Didn't do anything like that at all. I'm hoping he'll do a little big shake. He's not doing a big weird shake yet. He's kind of still just trying to scratch his belly. Um, I'm going to walk over here and grab the camera real quick. See if you guys get a little better angle of it. And he's trying to reach his belly with his back foot, and it's not working very good. So the water dripping off his belly, I think, was itching him weird. So he's trying to do a weird little scratch, and I don't get a very good shot of it. You can see his foot there. He's trying to reach up and scratch his belly, but it's not working the best. So that's pretty much all we've got right here. If you guys have any questions or concerns at all, feel free to leave them below. If you guys get a chance to get out and adopt a dog, you'll never regret a day you give another dog a better life. So have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.